Your spouse or parents have moved to the U.S. branch of the company they worked for. Can you move to the U.S. and join them? The answer is yes. You can do it through a U.S. L2 visa. Watch this video to find out all about it. Hi, I'm Behnam from the Visa Library. This channel gives visa information and the latest news and updates. In this video, you'll learn all about the US L2 visa and how to join your spouse or parents who have moved to the US. Before I begin, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell. You're not missing any updates and news. My team has also prepared a free cheat sheet for an L2 visa. It provides you with information in a concise, clear way. You're gonna need it as a map along the way. You can get it from the link in the visa library article from the description. Now, let's get to the L2 visa. Let me ask you again, what is a US L2 visa? The US L2 visa is for spouses and children under the age of 21 who have an L1 visa. Well, what is a US L1 visa? It's a non-immigrant visa that allows employers to transfer senior executives or managers from one branch in a foreign country to another one in the US. Fortunately, the L1 visa doesn't apply to a specific company or some countries. Even small startups can transfer their employees in this way. An L1 visa holder parents grandparents and other family members cannot apply for an L2 visa. These people can only visit them in the United States with a B2 visitor visa. Find more information on USB visas from the visa library. We'll prepare videos about them. Here, let me clarify one point. Applicants often mistake an L2 visa and F2 visa with each other. What's the difference? An L2 visa permits the spouse and children of an L1 visa holder to move to the US. But an F2 visa permits the spouse and children of F1 visa or US student visa holder to move to the US. If the main applicant is a student living in the US, the family needs to apply for an F2 visa to move to the country. Be careful what visa you apply for. Now, let's get back to our main topic. L2 spouse must be legally married to L1 visa holder. Their children must also be unmarried and under the age of 21 to be eligible. Homosexual partners can also apply for an L2 visa. In the case of multiple spouses, only one spouse can apply for this visa. Now, how should you apply for a US L2 visa? The first step is to collect the list of supporting documents. They are to prove that you are eligible to receive an L2 visa. Here is a list of them. Number one is the online visa application form or DS-160. You can get it from the Consular Electronic Application Center website. The link is in the description. Remember one point. After completing the form, there is a confirmation page and a number will be issued that you must save. Number two is a valid passport. Its validity must be at least six months longer than the visa expiration date. Number three is your photo. It must be according to US photo visa requirements. Number four is a marriage certificate for spouses. Number five is a birth certificate for children. Number six is the copy of form I-129 and form I-797 issued to the holder of the L1 visa. Number seven is the receipt of the visa application fee. Number eight is the copy of the passport holder of L1 visa. Number nine is the copy of the L1 visa. Number 10 is a letter from the employer of the L1 visa holder. It must contain a description of the job. Number 11 is a letter from previous employers of the L1 visa holder. In addition to the marriage certificate, you gotta submit these documents that the marriage is genuine. Wedding album, wedding invitation, honeymoon details, marriage registry documents. When you prepare the supporting documents, fill out the online form, DS-160. As I explained, you can get it from the link in the description. Once the DS Dash 160 form is submitted, you will be given confirmation number and page that you must save. 
then pay the visa application fee. You must pay $160 for a visa application fee. Now, you must schedule an interview appointment. Everyone between the ages of 17 to 70 must pass an interview. You must schedule an appointment to the U.S. Embassy in your home country. Once the interview is scheduled, you will receive a letter that you'll need during the visa application process. Go to the U.S. Embassy on the scheduled date and bring the supporting documents. The visa officer will also ask you some questions. This is the interview I mentioned earlier. What questions do they ask? Previous residency in the U.S., your relationship with the holder of the L-1 visa, your intention to travel to the U.S. When you're done with the meeting, the embassy informs you of the decision. How long is the processing time? The average processing time for the L-2 visa is 15 days to a month. Embassy workload and your case are essential factors affecting the processing time. Uh, big question, how long is your visa valid? The conditions of US L2 visa are up to the terms of the L1 visa holder. The validity of the L2 visa is the same as the validity of the L1 visa. An L1A visa holder can work in the US for up to 7 years, while an L1B visa holder can work for up to 5 years. If the L1 visa expires, US L2 visa will expire as well. You might be wondering about extending your L2 visa. Is it possible? If the L1 visa is renewed, the holder of the L2 visa will be eligible to be expanded. To renew the visa, the Form I-539 application to extend or change non-immigrant status must be submitted to the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services or USCIS. If the extension is approved, the dependent of L1A visa holder can stay and work in the U.S. for up to seven years. The spouse and children of L1B visa holder can also stay in this country for up to five years. Another question that is Aging you is that are you allowed to work under an L2 visa? L2 spouses are allowed to work but must apply for an employment authorization document. For this purpose, Form I-765 application for employment authorization must be submitted to USCIS. You can find the link to get the form in the description again. A copy of Form I-94 and two photographs must also be sent. If USCIS approves the request, they will issue the Employment Authorization Document EAD. Now you can work in the US. EAD processing time takes up to 90 days, so you'd better apply for an EAD immediately on arrival and not wait for a job offer. As long as the L2 visa is valid, you can renew your work permit. If your EAD is approved, you must apply for a social security number. Remember the point that children who enter the United States on an L2 visa are not allowed to work. The last wish of everyone moving to the US is to get green card. Can you get it as an L2 visa holder? The answer is up to the terms of the L1 visa holder. If the L1 visa holder applies for a green card, you, as dependent of the L1 visa holder, will be eligible to apply for a green card. L visas are dual intent. This means while applying for them, you don't have to prove that you intend to return to your home country. In case you want to change your status, it's a bit difficult. Why? As I explained, the terms of the L2 visa depend on the L1 visa holder. There are ways you can change your status. Number one is to apply for the L1 visa if you're eligible for it. Number two, to find the sponsor or employer and apply for an H1B visa. Number three, if your spouse changes his or her visa from L1B to H1B, you must apply for an H4 visa. What if your spouse wants to leave the US and you as the L2 visa holder want to stay? In this case, you got to change your status to one of the options I mentioned. Alright then, this was all you need to know about the US L2 visa. If you have questions, write them down in the comment section. My team at the visa library will get to them right away. If you want us to make videos about US visas or a related topic, just mention it in the comment section. We'll get what you want. Before you leave, like this video and hit the bell. We're coming back with more videos. Don't forget to download the free cheat sheet my colleagues have prepared for an L2 visa from the description. It's helpful along the application and gives you great tips. 
Stay tuned until the next video. Thank you all for watching.